Hi, Tech Coach Gina here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a thank you page with the Divi Builder. Now, Divi is a premium WordPress theme, so if you have a website that's not WordPress, this really isn't for you. But if you do have WordPress and you like the layout that Divi has, this is a popular theme and you can pay yearly or there's lifetime access which I think I got so if you're wanting to check out Divi I believe there's a sale going on techdoneforyou.com forward slash Divi is my affiliate link and there's a countdown timer so right now it's time sensitive you have eight more days roughly to take advantage of this Cyber Monday extended discount. And I don't necessarily recommend Divi for everyone. So if you are wanting to start small, I wouldn't necessarily say Divi is the right theme because it is it is a very complex theme. And so it does take time to learn it. So you can, if you're not sure if you're going to keep it, you can always start at the $67 a year level or if you're like me and you know that you'll eventually be using it for quite some time, then there is a lifetime access. So these are the sale prices and once the sale expires, it'll go back to regular price. So I have a opt-in page, an opt-in page right here. So an opt-in page is basically a page where your site visitor will land on your website and put in their name and email address and usually opt-in to be on your list and then you will receive a notice. So depending on if there's a double opt-in or not they may have to confirm again whether they need to be on your list or you could take them right to a thank you page. So right now I have this opt-in page and it's for a freebie that I just recently drafted and I haven't yet made a thank you page for it. And so what I like to do here is duplicate this page. So I use the Divi Builder to create this and I want to make the thank you page look very similar. And so I'm just going to go in, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. You'll need to be logged in as an admin or at least an editor or higher to make these pages. So I'm just going to go to pages. I have a lot of pages on my WordPress website. And so I'm just going to search for that page that I was at. Okay, so I just typed in real estate to make this simple. I hit search pages and I found this. So this is my opt-in page or sometimes I call it a landing page. So what I'm going to do is just clone the page. Now if you don't see this you might need to get a plugin called duplicate post or something like that but I have this option here available so I'm just going to hit clone page and that will make an exact copy of the layout that I was using. Now I had customized that layout, so this is not going to look like any other Divi layout because I made it very, very simple. And so let me just rename this. So when I duplicate a page, I usually like to, even though it gives me a temporary name, I like to rename it. So I'll just say, thank you. And I usually, whenever you duplicate something, it adds a two because you can't have the same name for two different WordPress pages. So, so I'll just put ty for thank you. Okay, so that changes the URL. And with the Divi Builder, this is a little bit hard. So what I sometimes do is open up this permalink in a new tab so that I can see what's happening. So it looks like it hasn't really saved my, my updated URL yet. So let me just hit update. 
so I don't forget to do that. Now what I normally toggle from here to here because I can't always tell where I'm clicking and where I'm editing. So right here I've got a box and this is the opt-in code. So once people already have opt in, opted in, they don't need to fill out the opt-in page again. So I'm just going to take out the code that was from my email marketing system and I think I have it right here from Birdsend. And so you don't have to read code, but you can just literally delete this. So there are rows, headers, etc. So I'm going to refresh. Let's actually hit update. Sometimes I preview changes, sometimes I just kind of go along and if I make a mistake, Divi does keep version, version history. So you can go back and refresh and go to a previous iteration if you need to. Okay, so let me refresh this page. Oh, and it, it doesn't like that I renamed it. So let me go back and let me view this page because that was the old URL. So right now it just has that box below and what I'm going to do is where it says get started I'm going to put a headline. So let me see scroll down here sometimes you have to hunt around a little bit so it does help to label these things sometimes so let me just check if it's this one yes okay so you can put a label I'm gonna just say a headline and I'm going to put in the text instead of get started I'll click in here this is just like a WordPress window regular WordPress window you can make this bigger if you want to or expand it to make it larger so you can see what you're doing better so I will say something like congrats you've made the right decision to grab this free guide. So you can make it maybe more concise. That's just something that I am coming up with off the top of my head. So I might come up with something a little bit better. So I'll hit update. And then for the button, I don't want it to say get started now. I'll probably have it say something like download. So it does take a while for this to refresh sometimes depending on if you've got a lot of large pictures that haven't been compressed on your site or sometimes if your internet is slow it takes it takes me a while to get this going. So instead of get started now I'm going to put download now and button is fine for the label so I have that and then the middle text maybe I don't want to say this maybe I want to say something about the freebie so if you haven't already please download your six essential tech tips for real okay or maybe I'll just say I'll get right to the point so admin label um, text is fine and so I'm just going to hit update so it does take a little bit of time to save and so once it's saved I'll go over here and I'll refresh this page. 
And so congrats, you've made the right decision to grab this free guide. And maybe I'll make this a little bit more concise. Maybe I'll just say you're all set or something like that. I think that's what some of my lead page thank you pages say. So before I do that, let me make sure that I have the PDF linked. So I have the PDF already uploaded to my media library. So maybe I'll open that in another tab. And so with WordPress, you've got a media library. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab. And I'm just going to search real estate because I think I updated this more than once. So the first iteration here, second one I think is here. So I think it's more for real estate investors than just real estate, well, marketers. So let's copy this to the clipboard and I'm just going to put it in the button link. So what I'll do is hop back over to this page. Here's the button. We're going to hit the gear icon to edit the module settings. So we edited just the text, but we can edit the link now. And so this was something else previously. So I'm just going to paste right in the updated PDF link. And you can change what you have labeled on the back end if you want to. So I'm going to refresh again and and see what this looks like now. Okay, so now I have the download button and it will open up in a new tab. People can download this. I have some instructions about this freebie. I have the headline, which maybe I'm going to shorten. So this looks like it's almost there. Let me go back to the Divi Builder. Sometimes this takes a lot of patience to go back and forth. So sometimes I use the Visual Builder instead, but there's kind of a learning curve to that as well. So I'm just going to go back to the headline right here. And I'm just going to say all set. And then Hit OK. So depending on your double opt-in settings, you might want to say something on the thank you page such as check your email to get your PDF or something like that. So it will depend on your settings. But for now, I have this simplified thank you page and you can see the URL is updated. And so what I'll do is go back into my email marketing system, BirdSend, and then put this thank you page in my settings of my opt-in form so that people will go directly to this thank you page and they can get the download. If you enjoyed this video, please like, sub subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss the next video. And don't forget that there is this Cyber Monday sale. I'll put my affiliate link in the description of this video. Have a great day. Thank you.